Hi, my peepers. This is Shaleen of the Color and Book Nook, and this is a whip and chat for diamond painting. I am doing Pumpkin Book Nook by Treasure Studios Art. And it's a square. So let's see. 310. What has everybody been up to? Do you want me to zoom in more? Let me see. Can I zoom in more? Okay. Okay. Zoomed in. I have had so much going on. Because I take notes every day of what's going on, what videos I've watched. And I um, did not do a floss tube video on Saturday. Saturday was a little crazy. I did not get to cross stitch. And Sunday I was so exhausted I did not feel like it. So, since the last video, which was actually last Wednesday's Whip and Chat. Oh, and let me go pull up last week's Whip and Chat so that I can answer questions or um, just read you the comments. Yeah. So let me go into my channel and I will do that. Okay. Oops. So I was going to do that. Get down now. Go on. Come on. She has been up my butt all day. And I sat and read for about an hour or so. So she has been getting attention. Okay, so let me see. Miss Shova, which is Mabel Eicher, says, I only work on one diamond painting at a time. We've been getting our normal weather here. We've rarely used the grill for past year and a half because I do almost the cooking. And I've only used charcoal grill a few times like a decade ago. I don't have, whoops, I don't have a charcoal grill. I have a gas grill. And most of the t when my husband's up, I have him use the grill, but, um... I have no problems using the grill when I'm by myself. Amandiner Homestead says, I worked on my diamond painting Firstborn from DAC while watching. Thanks for keeping me company. You are very welcome. Isn't it fun watching the videos while diamond painting to keep you company? I like to watch just about any videos. But I usually watch the diamond painting ones. May Brock says, Hey, ya! Uh, never heard any squealing on your videos, Shaleen. You watched me? Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm happy you liked it. What's having a snow day that they have not had this year? A snow day, I did answer May before, but in case nobody knows. A snow day is when the weather is so bad that they don't let the buses go out on the road. and they and, Or it might be so bitterly cold that they don't want the kids walking to school. Because we do have some, you know, the kids that live in the town, they walk. They don't ride a bus. So... 
the temperatures are too cold for them and they don't want them to get frostbite or anything, they keep them home. And when, since we were having blizzard-like conditions, it is not safe for the buses to be out because the kids' safety is more important than anything. So that is what a snow day is. And since the weather was so bad, um, even Amber didn't go into work. So I had a snow day as well. Oop, that did not pick that up. Elaine Wine said, no squealing here. Ooh, I like purple diamond painting pen, too. Yep, I need to go grab that because this was for Valentine's, and Valentine's is all over. So, I'm going to go put that away, and here is my purple one. And I don't know if it needs wax. Well, it picked that up, so it must be not... And Elaine Wine says the cat will be awesome because last week I was finishing working on. Oh, I keep touching. Hold on. I got. Okay. Keep touching the uh, the light pad and dimming it. <laughs> yep. So I did finish Salem the cat. I believe I did a post review. It should be up on my channel. And I showed it on my February finishes video, which I just finished. So that'll be going up right before this one does. And I can't tell if it's really windy out or if it's pouring. It sounds like it's raining outside. Lisa Bradley says it has squealed this end on one stream. Because Lisa was the one that brought it up to me. That it was squealing. And so I asked everybody about the squealing noise. And nobody else heard it. And Anxiety Art Adventure says, Hi, Shalini. You watched a Hallmark movie and soaps in the same day? Double yuck. <laughs> I finished my craft Craftably canvas and I'm working on Stand By Me by Star Ore until I start on The White Tiger by DAC March 1st. I have never tried mystical art and no squealing here. Yes, Laura. I figured you were not a soap fan either. I was doing some of this in the checkerboard pattern. Yep, squealing. Must have been just on Lisa's end because nobody else heard it. <clears throat> So, um, so after I did my whip and chat on Salem the Cat, I was, what did I do? Oh, I watched TV Wednesday night, and I watched last week's Tuesday's This Is Us. That was really good. I love that show. So good. Yeah, I'm going to need some wax. It's not picking these up. And I watched a Hallmark movie. I still have a few Christmas ones. Can you believe it? I do. I did. I thought I watched them all, but nope. So I watched one called Merry and Bright.
so yep and then Thursday we had there was no school because of the the frigid temperatures and heavy snow with the wind made it um, horrible um, so Amber called in to work also on Thursday but their basement got flooded which took out their furnace and I think their hot water tank I don't know it took out a couple things done in the basement so they brought the boys here until their landlord got it all fixed and it was fixed within like two hours so I just had the boys here for a couple hours watch TV they had, came in their pajamas and we just vegged out so after they left I watched videos I watched Lindsay's Little Library. She's a booktuber. And she did Booklist Thursday. So I watched that. So, And people are saying they really like it when I talk about the videos I watch. Because they've picked up other people to watch. Other YouTubers. Whether it's for reading, coloring, diamond painting, whatever. So I'm going to continue doing this. It's something different. I don't think anybody else does it on their channel. If they have, I've never noticed it. I watched Mary Brock's. She did a Diamond Art Club unboxing. And I forgot to write down what it was she unboxed. I'm going to have to get some wax. I watch Girly Girl Bookworm. I watch like all of her videos. And she did a March TBR. So I watched that. A lot of the booktubers I watch read a lot of YA and she doesn't. She reads a lot of the adult. So I enjoy watching her. Not that I don't like YA books, I do. I went through a huge phase of YAs. Years till um, like three years ago, four years ago. That's all I was reading for a long time. And I have a ton of books that I bought because of watching them. That I want to, some I've read the first book and I need to read the rest of the series because I really liked the first book. I watched Anxiety Art Adventures. She she got Luna Moth by Star Ore. I really, really liked it. It was really pretty. I listened to Dragon Lost by Donna Grant. It was a book that I did for a blog tour and I thought, well, I'm I'm just going to listen to it. It was only an hour and a half long. It was a novella. Very good. It was part it's part of a Dragon se Dragon Knight series. I really like that. So, yep. And it's not the first one I've read from that series. I haven't read them all in that series, but I've read a few. Then I also 
listened and finished t um, 10 Days Gone by Beverly Lawn. It was a book through NetGalley for review. That is a murder mystery where women were being killed every 10 days. And four women had been killed, so they were trying to figure out, you know, if there was a connection to any of them. I found it to be a very good book. I really liked it. I watched, um, oh, I finished Salem the Cat that day as well because I was listening to those audiobooks. Well, they were books through um, NetGalley on my Kindle, so I just did text-to-speech. So while I listened to them, I was diamond painting Salem the Cat, and I finished him. And this summer, I put this on crooked. <laughs> I need to fix it. Fix it. Come on. See, I don't like these. I like my black ones that have very sharp point. They pick up so much better. I watch Steeped in Books. I like watching her videos. She did her March 2020 TBR. She reads a lot of romance. She reads a ton of Harlequins. And I've been watching her for a few years. I went, oh. So, when I showed the unboxing of this picture here, I had said that it was poured glue because it was the clear cover. Well, the lady from Treasure Studios Art said, no, it's not. It is called a mounting adhesive film. And she said that it's stronger than poured glue and the double-sided adhesive tape. So that's what this canvas is. It's a mounting adhesive film. I don't really notice that it's really any stronger than poured glue. It might be. I don't know. I haven't had any issues if I've had to take um, a drill off. Because I put it in the wrong spot or it was crooked. I watched a diamond painting addiction with a uh, diamond painting addiction adventures with Jennifer. And she did an announcement that she was doing an Easter collab. And I need to remember to write those down for my Friday Tea Time videos. Because it's not just color and news now. I also do diamond paint and news. And if there's any um, reading news, which I should because um, I think it's steeped in books and... There's a couple others that do readathons, so I need to start writing those down because I have a lot of readers that watch these videos, and they might want to do those readathons. And then Thursday night, I watched Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy. I don't usually watch Station 19, but 
they were having a blizzard and it was supposed to kind of coincide with Grey's Anatomy so I thought I had to watch it but I really didn't need to. This Thursday, which is tomorrow, it's going to be a goodbye to Alex Karev and we will get answers to where he's been because the actor left the show and we didn't get closure. So I have a feeling we are going to need our cleanup. She is just a whining. I sat with her while I was reading. I was reading a book. I um I had dinner in the oven, so I hurried up and took a shower while that was going on and then um before I put it in the oven and then after my shower I read I was reading on the couch and she was curled up with me. So she, she got attention when I got home from babysitting. So I don't know why she's uh, being needy right now. But I don't let her up here when I'm diamond painting. So I don't want cat hair on here. Oops, that one was crooked. Um, Friday, there was no school again because of the weather. But I did babysit. They did go to work. So I watched Coloring Queen and she did a comparison of the U.S. and the U.K. version of Kirby Rosanis' Worlds Within Worlds. And I'll tell you, I cannot wait to get mine. I pre-ordered it a couple months ago. And I have been seeing finishes in it and flip throughs. I'm like, yes, I want mine. But I didn't want to order it from the UK because I didn't want to pay the shipping. So um, it comes out March 17th for the US version. They have the same images in both books. So I'm not worried about that. But the, the pages that I saw were colored in were the one with the sneakers. And oh my gosh, I've seen different ways of coloring it. And I think I'm doing my sneakers in purple. Because, you know, it's purple. What's wrong? See? Purple. Yep. I think that's how I'm going to do my sneakers in purple. So, yep seen plenty of flip throughs and I'm like yes please I cannot wait actually from the pictures I seen I think this is his best book yet I was not a big fan of Geomorphia or Phantomorphia but this one yeah so I will have all of his books once that gets here Then I watched Mrs. Coffee. It's Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, you know. She did <laughs> the Diamond Art Club Sneak Peek of Love at Its Darkest by Mandy Manzano. And it's Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And so, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favorite things that I collect 
So I ordered it Saturday when I got, they said you have to be a ruby and diamond to get the sneak peek. But I get, because I am a member on, and I've ordered from them, I get emails on Saturdays at noon. So I ordered it right at noon. And it will be here tomorrow, Thursday. Because I was not going to buy any more, but that one I knew would sell out. So I'm like, yeah, I have to order that. So I did. Naughty. I know, I'm naughty. But I had to have it. Because, you know, if you buy from them, you know... They sell out a lot. So between it being Jack and Sally, it's also a Mandy Manzano. And I love her, her canvas pictures. I also watched Rachel Ray. This is all last Friday. She did a sneak peek on Diamond Art Club called in the um, Artist is Mad Art Studios and the picture was Spring Shine. It is really cute. It's springy. It's mostly all greens. So I'm like, oh, I like that. But I didn't order that because I didn't need to have that. I watched Tanya and Mary's Coffee and Color. They showed their February finishes. So I always enjoy watching people's finishes. Sometimes it, it's like, oh my gosh, I have that book. I didn't think of doing it that way. <laughs> I watched Mae Barak's. She did a post review of her Yoda diamond painting. I loved it. I am a Star Wars fan. And I like Yoda. I watched Anxiety Art Adventures. She did a post review of her Astral Guardian which was really pretty. So, yep, she finished that. And I believe that's from Craftably. So she's ordered some more from Craftably, which sometime this year I will have to order a picture from Craftably to try because I have different people that watch me than what, what watch her. And I do want to try from different companies. I watched Becky's Color Escape. She had a channel update. Let's go check that out. I need some water. Water. That tastes good. I watched CL Aldridge Art. She did 2020, the first 60 days of what she did. Pearl, not up here while I'm diamond painting. Go on. <clears throat> So I enjoyed watching that. Diamond Painter with Dreamer. Diamond Painting with Dreamer. She did a giveaway winner. So watch her. She does giveaways once in a while.
I don't always sign up for the giveaways. It depends on what the item is because if it's not something I'm going to use or do, then there's no sense in me signing up for it. I watched Diamond Painting by Donnie. She did a Diamond Art Club sneak peek before Saturday's re release of Chuck Pinson's The Sweet Life. I have gotten to where they are. I um, really like Chuck Pinson. Not that I didn't before. I've always just been buying Mandy Manzano's. But I would like to own a couple Chuck Pinsons. I just don't have any. And Diamond Art Club picked up some artwork by Bailey J. Yeah, those are really cute too. And I'd like to own a couple of those. Let's see. I wonder what I did with my got a piece of hair it's probably miss pearl because she jumped up here and these don't pick it up like my wonder what i did with those my pointy ones pick this up a lot easier there we go. Come on. Almost had it. It's a long piece of cat hair. There it is. There. I, I didn't get it. Oh, it broke in half. Oh, well, now I can't see it. <laughs> There's some there, but I can't see it. <clears throat> I watched another one, Diamond Painting by Donnie. She did another DAC sneak peek, new out of this world artist. I believe that's the one with the astronaut. Oh, then I watched Shara, Simple Color with Shara. She is a colorist that she comes into a lot of live streams. She calls all of us her sexy friends. And she had me in tears because she all she wasn't talking at all in her video was just her coloring and the sounds of San Diego with the water and the birds. Now, I don't know how to describe it that that's like the best sound in the world to me. And I miss being by the water. So I was listening to that and had happy tears. And missing the water. So I kept that video because it's very soothing. Then she did another one with San Diego City Noise. And that one wasn't bad. I kept that one too. But I liked listening to the water better. I watched Simmer Sharon. She did a thing with Sims 3 household that she was doing. I do play Sims. My PC is down right now, but... I am a simmer. I have Sims 2, 3, and 4. Did I just do that again? Yep. So I like watching some of them because it gives me a different idea for storylines. And I haven't played in months because the PC's down and I'm waiting. 
first got to go back to work so I can get it fixed because right now we're um he doesn't have that income coming in not like it's not like I don't have anything else to do around this house <laughs> got plenty to do I watched Mindy's Diamond Moment. She loves the Chuck Pinson. So she said her collection is now complete. Because she was in search of some that she didn't own. And now she owns them all. So she was really happy about that. That she was able to find people who have theirs. They had the ones she was missing and they didn't want them or they weren't going to do them. So, good job for Mindy. I watched Crane's Creations. Her and her husband did the Vegemite Challenge. They didn't seem to mind it either. Um, Crafting with Anne. I watched her. She did a diamond painting in chat. So, I can't remember what she was diamond painting. And then this weekend, well, Friday I started it. And I finished it this weekend of um, Twisted 26 by Janet Ivanovich. It's her last, latest book, not her last one of the series, but the latest one. And so I listened to that on audiobook because I was able to get that as an audiobook through my library. And I like listening to them because I can color or diamond paint. I can do things around the house while I listen. Saturday was one of those crazy days. I got my nails done and... Went and got my mom and her and I met Kim and Kathy to go color. We went to a Mexican restaurant in the town I grew up in. So we had food and then we colored and it was really strange because... Um, we had a couple walk up and they were a couple walked up to us and they were, they were getting ready to leave and they were seeing our coloring and they were asking questions and then Kim she she likes to tell everybody that I have a channel <laughs> And then while I had gone to use the restroom, one of the one of the people that was working there, he had come around the table, I guess, and saw what I was coloring and really liked it. And Kim again said that I was known internationally. <laughs> so yeah. But we had a good day. Very, very, very frigid outside. I could not get warm when I got home. And I ended up being cold all day Sunday. And because of it being so cold Saturday, it just wiped me out. I had no energy on Sunday. And 
I just vegged out. I did. I had a lazy day. All I did all day was watch videos. That was it. On oh, laundry. I washed laundry. And I did not write down what videos I watched because I watched so many. And we've had a... I didn't even look to see if I needed this. Oh, I do. So we've... One of my kitties has been sick. So for those of you that watched... That have been watching me for a long time. I need one more of those black. I'm missing the black. My cat, Molly, where'd it go? She's lost a lot of weight. But she was eating all the time and acting fine and playing and that. And then for the, a few days, she stopped eating. And it's like she wanted to eat, but she just couldn't eat. So... We called the vet, made an appointment, and we thought it was her teeth. Scott still thinks it's her teeth. What time is it? i got to give her medicine. I have to give her medicine in a few minutes, so when I'm done here, I'll have to do that. <sighs> so anyway, she would yell to be fed, but... She wasn't really eating. So, Monday morning, I told Scott, you're going to have to make her an appointment because she's really, really sick. Something's going on. She's losing, she's lost way too much weight. So, her appointment was at 5. And they were checking her, and Scott says, well, check her teeth. And they said, well, we can see a couple of teeth. They're kind of not that great, but it shouldn't be stopping her from eating. And she's purring the whole time while they're checking her over. And I said, yes, yeah, she's a very um, lovey cat. She purrs a lot. I said, she's still playing and acting fine. She just doesn't look good. So, they asked questions, and we answered them to the best of our knowledge of what's going on, and they decided to run blood tests, and I said, that's fine, you know, and they told us what it was going to cost, and Scott said, I don't care, just, we need to find out what's going on with her, and they were going to check for that feline leukemia and all that stuff, so... We had to wait like 15 minutes or so. And they came back and said, her blood work all looks good. Um, they said there was just one little bit of a small red flag, but it's not anything. The only thing that they could think of is she has an infection somewhere. So, meanwhile, while they were doing that, you know, I kept saying to Scott, I'd never seen her have worms or anything, so I didn't think she had worms. And he goes, no, she doesn't have worms. Um, and he changes the litter box. He would notice that stuff, and he's going, nope. He says, the only time I saw anything was once when she threw up. There was little, like, little pieces of rice, and I looked at them, and I said, those are worms. So when they came back in, we did tell them that, so... We got one pill that was for deworming her, and then they put her on antibiotics and to give her baby food, which she refused to eat. 
none of my cats would eat the baby food. The dog did, but not the cats. So anyway, she's back to eating. She's not eating, eating. I still, Scott still thinks it's her teeth. She's like, if you give her canned food, she's licking all the gravy. And she'll eat a few pieces of the shredded food, but it's mostly licking all the gravy, which at this point, I don't care as long as she's getting something in her. Um, and it's a few times a day. So she is back to eating, at least getting some food in her. And she is meowing again to be fed. Her coat's starting to look better too. She's 14. And our cats usually live to be like 16, 17, 18 years old. So, like we still have a few years to get out of her. To be with her. And we went grocery shopping Monday morning. I asked for a car seat for Blake. So he could go with us. So we did that. And he was very, very good. We went to Walmart and Wegmans. And he was really good in both stores. He was good in the car. And then we went back to my house so that we could unload the car and I could put the groceries away. So he had some juice and sitting at the table while I was doing that. And then we went back to his house and had lunch. And then the library was opening at 1, and they had a book for me to pick up. So we went to the library, and he got out two Paw Patrol books, and they had scratch-off things to see if you won books or anything, and he won a book. It was a little Garfield book, and I had a free ticket of an item, and they, for adults, they had a bin and it had candy in it. It had bookmarks, you know, little things, little pads of paper. Um, what else was in there? I, oh, chapstick stuff. I grabbed a little notebook. It was cute. So yeah, I had a busy Monday, so I didn't get to read really on Monday. And I didn't really watch any videos on Monday. So yesterday I watched a few videos in the morning, I didn't write them down. And then I started the book I picked up from the library, which was Echoes in Death by J.D. Robb, which I love my J.D. Robb and the In Death series. And like I said, Molly's back to eating. So that's a good thing. And today, what did I watch? I watched Grace's World. She was diamond painting. So I watched her. I've watched Girly Girl Bookworm because I try to watch most of her videos. And she did um, 
the last five books she read that was a wrap up she talked about the last five she read they sounded good but I gotta get more wax again Some of these have bigger gaps than others. But when you're far away, you don't see the gap. And I don't think you see it with the light off. No, see? Looks great. So, that's fine. I watched a Mindy's Diamond a moment. And she is doing a hashtag chuck on And she had a list of talking about the participants. So, yeah, I'm going to have to add that into my Friday Tea Times. That there is a Chuck Pinson diamond paint in the lawn. I don't know when that starts. If it already started. So i got to add that on and the Easter collaboration. So i got to get those written down. And I watched Anxiety Art Adventures today. She did a fun Etsy find and a new Craftably kit. And I liked her diamond paintings. I love the silver glitter one. That was really pretty. And that's by Jim's Handmade Pens. And in the future, I am going to buy a few more pens. So I'd like to switch them up. The other one I was using, I will use always in February because it's got hearts on it. But I'm going to have to find one that reminds me of Halloween. It's got to have Halloween colors. Watched Crafting with Christy. She did Dreamer Designs 2.0 unboxing. Which their stuff looks really nice. And how they package is very impressive. So if you have not seen any of those, go search on YouTube Dreamer Designs 2.0. Sometimes I just use this end to make sure they're pushed down better. <clears throat> I watched Naya Reads and Smiles. She is always full of energy and bubbly. She's very young. I've been watching her for a few years. She reads YA that I normally would not read. I just like her personality. Very bubbly. And hers was all the books that she read in February. Then I read it finished Echoes in Death by J.D. Robb. And I started Secrets in Death by J.D. Robb. So I try to read four a month. So I'm almost caught up to the newest book. I'm excited. And the last video that I watched today was Color in the Wiregrass. And it was her February planner flip through. So, um, she uses it for like her coloring and stuff. The color lawns and things like that. 
So that was the last video I watched today. So when I'm done here with this video, I got to give Molly her antibiotic for the night. And I'm going to diamond paint, but I'm going to be watching TV. I'm going to find a movie on the DVR. So it's Wednesday night. I don't watch anything on Wednesday nights. And This Is Us was not on last night. So, yeah, I'm going to see what movie to watch. It might be a Hallmark movie. It might be something else. But... Yep, I can tell it's getting close to the end of this anyways because I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so again, this is the Pumpkin Book Nook by Treasure Studios Art. It is square. I think all of theirs are square. And again, it is not poured glue. She said that it is mounting adhesive film and she said that it's stronger than poured glue so she wanted me to let everybody know that because I thought it was poured glue and I will put this in the description below and you can check them out yeah what are you all working on are you diamond painting are you coloring cross stitching doing puzzles let me know down below if you have a question you want to ask me go ahead and I'll answer it in next week's video I like doing that I think that um it lets you know that I am reading the comments I did forget to click the heart though when I read it so I've got to go back and do that but thank you everybody for watching I am I have Friday off so I think that's when I'm gonna make my floss tube video for Saturday I can do my tea time video in the morning and my floss tube get them done and over with for the weekend because this weekend is the shadow lounge marathon readathon monthly readathon so I'm going to be reading all weekend Although I can still diamond paint because most all the books I have I'm going to be listening to. So I can listen to them and I can diamond paint or color or cross stitch. So, yep. And I have an unboxing to do tomorrow. Actually, I have two. I'm going to unbox two Mandy Manzano's tomorrow. So you will get to see those and I have a flip through of coloring books to do. So thank you everybody and I will talk to you all later. Love you guys. Again, this is Shaleen of the Coloring Book Nook. Bye-bye.